Hello everyone, Dumat here with the game in Diamond Tree at around 50 LP. I am actually going pretty good right now with the games. But this game is going to be a pretty interesting one. We're against a Lulu on mid lane that will actually shield and boost the Kindred and uh, Vayne with her spells. So we're going to have a quite difficult mid to late game against that comb, but we do have Kaiza and Kyle, which are two very strong champs, but again they have a Vayne and Kindred, which can actually deny a bit. Also, interesting thing to note, there is a lot of defensive spells this game. We On the, on the, on the one hand, we have Condemn of Vayne, Roots and uh, Knockups of Zyra, and a lot of CC from Lulu, but most importantly we have her ult, we have Kindred ult, we have Atrox ult, also we have Kyle ult and Jana ult. They are going to be very annoying if I don't get fed to pop someone. They are going to be extremely difficult to manage. Now, the Lulu matchup, I don't know exactly what to tell you about it because I haven't faced the Lulu in like forever. Don't know if I ever actually faced the Lulu, probably when she was again meta up like when a season ago or something but yeah what we're interested in is dodging the kindred gang that's probably about to come just going here to be sure that no surprises uh, the only problem with that route of the gank is is that kindred is going to take Jarvan's red and Jarvan just dived but probably he's dead or no? No? Okay, nice. Well, it's worth now to lose the red because you got such a beautiful advantage on bot lane. Now, other interesting stuff. Lulu has minion dematerializer and corrupting pot. So she probably wants to abuse me as much as she can. I don't have Please kill there someone. Oh my god. They survived a lot there. Now Lulu is going to teleport and yeah, probably she gained a lot of advantage by... Oh, okay. Oh, come on, dude. I should have used W there, not E. Not Q. I used Q. No, I used E. Yeah, yeah, that was a bad. I thought, thought it was enough, but apparently not really. Now... This is quite difficult to actually do, but we need to come back from this. We actually had a huge advantage, but we misplayed it greatly. So I am an idiot for hitting this in this order. Okay. That was an excellent gank. I have to return to take all my XP. And this is going to go just as planned. Okay, perfect. Now, also, the minion wave should push towards me. Also, this is great. Yeah, we, we won here by this. Now, or I don't, I'm not sure if the minion wave pushes towards me. Depends on the first CS. Nah. Probably pushes towards him a little. 
Ah, no, actually, it's towards me. Sorry. Yeah. It was supposed to be towards me, but I got a little scared about the push. But as they formed here, I ah, just here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now, I don't have potions. So, the main thing that I have to do here is to out push her and fight her only when I'm certain. Oh my god. The good thing is that I heal a bit from that one little Ravenous Hunter stack and... Oh boy, that's annoying. I should probably go for the... for the health regen item. Yeah, a little matchup can be very annoying. She has flash, she, she does not die there. But she fights, which means she has the edge. Oh boy. I don't know what Lulu does, she doesn't have damage to kill me, she doesn't have ignite either. So... I don't have anything, buddy. Okay, I'm coming, but I don't have anything. Well, you're out. But I wasted too much time with this. Okay, maybe he will outplay. Yeah, excellent. That was the long bait. Uh, going here for an annoying refillable potion. And because I have gold, I don't have gold. I wanted to buy a ring. I have, I have enough gold for the ring, sorry. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Bot lane is destroying them now, which is great. I actually fell too hard early on on that fight, on that level 2 fight where we were supposed to win. But Lulu failed harder because there's a mid lane that has basically no... How can I say? Impact as a damage champ mid to late. Please go back. Basically, she should not have fought early on. Especially against a Clea, which is a monster. I want to go there. If Kindred is there, I'm gonna ult. If not, I think I'm gonna wait here. Well, at least we didn't feed that much, I guess. It was a pretty bad trade there, although it was 2 for 2. Gonna lose a plate here, probably. I have all of them. Yeah, we have a Kyle. Basically, their vein is not scaling our Kaisers 5 0. Their top lane is not scaling, I mean. I'm not sure what's happening here. Kyle looks like it's winning, or looked like it was winning. And does she win? She doesn't. Or she doesn't? Nah, she doesn't because because of the long prolonged fight. Okay, she actually won. I wanted to find an argument for which Atrox loses, but it seems that Atrox wasn't smart enough on that gank. And I want right now to. I don't need to help that Jarvan, I just need to keep over here. I'm really not sure what this Lulu does. Mildly 
find really confusing. Now, if Kindred comes, I hope she doesn't have alt so I can destroy her. She probably has it still. But it doesn't matter because... Okay. Now it does matter. This guy comes after my arse. Okay, there is going to be a herald somewhere thrown around. I'm curious if it's here. Okay, I'm two levels ahead. Way more than Kaiser. Okay, good. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm saying sorry to myself, which is interesting in, in itself, basically. Uh, I'm pretty stuck around the map because I feel Kindred's going to get top or mid now. And uh, yeah, I, I have to account for the movement speed of the Lulu because you can't really expect her to be non-mobile, it's obvious she's going to move around and dance. And I should stop losing this, yes. Kindred is bot, that's my guess. So I'm going bot because we're not actually interested about top that much. Ah, fuck, go. Do I get shields? Thank you. Yeah, they got the power faster than us, that's clear. But at least we're gonna trade it. And at least Kyle didn't die with it. Take a while to retrade it. Will they go for the second tower? I doubt. Yeah, we're gonna get two towers here due to this. Never mind, Lulu teleported or Atrox did. Still, it's wonderful that we got this here. I'm gonna recall actually in this bush. So, any surprises shall be stopped. Okay, enough gold for two items. Yeah, the rotation was pretty bad. I actually gambled that Kindred was going to be bought. I was almost certain that she's going to be there, but... Uh, yeah, she was actually... She was actually... Mm, top. I cannot go there. As much as I'd like, they are doing actually fine here. Bring half fish proof kindred or oh, spell. Okay, I can hold them all here. That's beautiful in itself. Okay, just so that the only problem is that if I get corner from the bottom side, top side is fine. Okay, I have also my ignite. This is a nice spot. This is a very nice spot. What is she doing? Yeah, that's just hinting at this point. Gonna get the second tower and also we're gonna get the Drake here. Which is great. 
Ah, that was like too close. And there can just steal this. Yeah, Kaiser is fine. Not even, not even a need to flash. It's very hard for them. Okay, enough. Too many fails per second. Although... Yeah... No! No, that should have been a kill. But yeah, we kind of failed too much. But the good thing is that Kyle has all the time in the world to farm up to actually destroying this Atrox now because she has everything up. And soon enough, she'll be quite strong. And we also have a Kaiser that's five, six, zero. What? Now, only if I get another kill on this. a bit much. But I cannot get that close, which I hate it. Which is the thing that I hate. Uh, yeah, zero six Lulu now. It's mostly my work. Feels good. I want to catch that kindred. That was easy, I guess. She has a lot of fun though. Lulu is kind of her Tariq to her to the mastery that she should be. And I could hold I mean that, that's just sad. <sighs> At least the Zyra killed me. Although I would have preferred maybe, maybe Lulu. I bet Kindred is around here or here. Oh, never mind. But yeah, the only thing that we should get rid of is the Kindred. Okay, I'm going here, so please don't die in other lanes. Don't hold here, although it's tempting. No, it's okay, it's okay, go back. It's okay. I'm not seeing their vein either. Although, I have a feeling that they're gonna win 4 versus 5, hopefully. No one is gonna die there. I'm way too far, there's no chance I could actually hurt them. But yeah, with that Kyle there, they're pretty much invincible. I'm just going to get this tower. Oh. Free kill on that way. Right? Well, actually told them not to fight, but who am I? Free tower for me at least. 
to go bow on there. Okay. That's an interesting choice. Very interesting choice. Now, even if they get it, they're going to be low HP. Well, I guess that ends the game right here. <sighs> I mean, it was obvious they were low HP, but <laughs> not that low. Didn't expect that much. And Jarvan also stole that one, which is a power play on its own. But yeah, Triple Kill could have caught them there. Going too deep here. GG. I suppose going full ham after just taking a triple kill and baron anyway and ended the game. So even if I died there, I didn't care that much. Anyway, here's a rule. Here's a rule. Never do that what I did. I went bot to split push thinking my team would see that and go back and not engage for versus 5 when Vayne was obviously coming top. Now even in higher elo, I expect sometimes this to work out, but in lower elos, do not ever go splitting if you're not, um, how can I say, split champion. Or even if you are a split champion and you are a bit fed, you should mostly stay with your team because you take a lot of gold from your team when you are in other lanes. Because if you have 10 kills and your team has 5 or 10 or 15 kills total, you basically reduce that. You, you How can I say, total team kills is 25. You have 10 kills, so total team kills without you is 15. Their team has 20, and they are all 5, so they are basically going to have much more gold. Maybe if the towers are good or the farm is good, or uh, more manpower anyway. So go roaming, go other, no, go other lanes and to split push only when you're completely sure that your team will not feel, uh, fight on other lanes. That makes sense, makes sense, right? Because as you've seen there, as the, as the example, I actually lost the top lane fight, my team actually lost, and I won a tower bot, but it wasn't worth it because they went straight to Baron. We did win because Jarvan stole Baron, and I killed actually four of them almost. But that's not the point of it. Anyway, anyway, that's about it, guys, for this game. And I'm right now at, I don't know, 70 LP or somewhere there. But thanks for watching very much, and I will see you guys on the next game. Goodbye, guys.